Maggie. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be the fall favorites tag and I am so excited from this video because I was tagged by my lovely friend Kelsey from the channel Kelsey Kristen here on YouTube and oh my gosh if you guys are not subscribed to her yet what are you doing with your life? Um, hello? Kelsey makes amazing YouTube videos and she actually lives in my city. So girl, we need to get together, go out for a tea or a coffee or like, you know, go to Sephora or something because honestly, we should meet. I'm just saying, I think we're kindred spirits. You guys probably already know this, but this tag was created by Jacqueline Hill and I'm a huge fan of Jacqueline. And so when I saw that she did this video, I was like, oh, that'd be so much fun. And then I got tagged and I was like, well, I mean, I have to now, I mean, it's just, no brainer. Without further ado, let's just hop on into this video. First question is favorite fall candle, and uh, mine you've probably seen in the back is autumn. I love this candle because it smells so fresh. Now, this is a Canadian one, so we don't have the lovely description on the bottom, which really sucks. Uh, I don't know if that's changed because I did get this like a couple of years ago. It's just like a really nice, fresh, leaves, kind of clean almost kind of smell. Like it literally just smells like autumn. That's all I can really tell you. If you guys really like the leaf scent, I think you would definitely like this one as well. I'm a huge fan of this one. <laughs> Next question is favorite fall lip color, and I had to narrow it down to three because I could not just choose one. The first one is what I'm wearing on my lips right now. This is by MAC. This is in the shade Plumful. Is that my teeth? Hopefully not. Hopefully not, right? Yeah. It is a luster finish. This has been my favorite fall lip color for such a long time. It is an absolutely gorgeous, more sheer, plummy, kind of purpley kind of color. It's really great as well as like a starter plum color because not super intense. You can definitely blend it out to make it more, you know, like a light tint or you can definitely build it up. It has a really pretty like kind of shiny finish to it, which I love. And of course, oh, the smell of MAC lipsticks is just amazing. So this is my favorite one from MAC. My next one is by Bite Beauty, and this is in the shade Gavi or Gavi, and this is one of their matte cream lip crayons. This is just like a little mini size. This is a really beautiful orange, almost kind of pumpkin toned lip color. It's absolutely gorgeous, and it is a matte finish, so it's very fall appropriate. And that's just what that looks like right there. It's so beautiful. It's almost like a neutral, but with a little bit of an extra oomph of color, you know what I mean? Like it's not a full out coral or orange, but it's not a brown or a nude either. I also love how it's so easy to apply because the applicator is just so tiny and fine, so we don't really have to use a lip liner with this. Love this one. And my last one's also by Bite Beauty, and I actually use this in my last makeup tutorial, which is my Kendall Jenner Estee Lauder makeup tutorial. And this is their High Pigment Pencil in the shade Meritage. It is just the most beautiful red toned berry color. Oh. Love it, love it. Oh my gosh, it's just so beautiful. Also, Bite Beauty lip products, oh, they smell so good. I think Bite Beauty in general is just my favorite makeup brand of the moment just because their lip products are so amazing and sensational, so I love this one. I'm just gonna leave this on my hand because I forgot a makeup wipe, so, you know. Okay, next is favorite fall drink or just favorite drink. Um, okay, <laughs> I have a couple of favorites to share with you. The first one is the basic white girl drink, the pumpkin spice latte. I am common, I'm basic, I'm okay with it. I love that drink so much. It's just, so, oh, just screams fall to me. And that's like how my favorite like coffee or like Starbucks kind of drink. My favorite like tea and stuff, my first one is definitely just the regular sleepy time tea. I love curling up every night with like a cookie and that like, cup of tea or something and like watching Netflix or YouTube or something because it really does calm me and allows me to kind of like de-stress after a day after being at work. I love that tea so much. It's not super strong, but it's definitely more of like an herbal kind of tea. The other tea that I love is by David's Tea and it is their pumpkin spice chai. Oh my Gosh, it's so good. I had it the first time when I was at the mall with Dana and we both got it and I got mine with no sweetener and she got hers with sweetener and she liked hers. I liked mine. I think it's an amazing tea and it just, again, it's like fall in a cup, basically. Yeah, those are kind of like my favorite drinks. Next we have favorite fall blush and this one I only have one favorite for and this is actually my September favorites. It is the MAC blush in the shade Melba. It is a matte finish. I just always pull this out in the fall time. It is a beautiful pumpkin-y orange kind of color. Oh yes, yes, yes. It really just kind of boosts up your face. You know, if you're pale like I am, you can kind of 
look very flat and not alive very easily, but mm, love this so much. Next is favorite clothing item. I'm actually wearing mine today. Just flannels in general are my favorite. This one's actually from Blue Notes in the men's section. My friend Renee has this amazing flannel collection and I was like, girl, like, are these all from Brandy Melville or something? Like, they're just really nice. They fit kind of like larger and they weren't like super like form-fitting like most of the flannels you can get these days are, you know what I mean? Like the girls' flannels. So I said to her like, are they from Brandy? Like, where do you get them? And she's like, oh, you know, secret I'm gonna share with you, which I'm also sharing with you guys, so. You know, just go to Blue Notes, go to the men's section and just find a small or like whatever size you like out of the men's and it's a little bit oversized but it's also just like a really nice way to wear a flannel. So this one I love. Next question is favorite fall movie and I'm sad to say that I actually don't have one. I know. I'm sorry. I don't really watch Halloween movies. I don't really watch scary movies. I just don't have a movie in general that I'd love to watch every single fall time. So I'm gonna cheat in the next question. Next one is favorite fall TV show. And I'm just gonna say two instead of one because I didn't give you a movie. So the first favorite fall TV show is Gossip Girl. I just love watching it in the fall time. I know that there's a lot of it that's actually set like in the winter and the spring and the summer too. But for some reason, I just love watching it in the fall time. I think it's because it's set in New York, which is like, one of my favorite cities in the entire world, but also in a bunch of like the fall kind of scenes because especially when the show starts, it's the fall time, they show a bunch of beautiful scenery of New York City in the fall and with like all the colors and Central Park is basically just like a playground of different colors for the fall, you know? It's absolutely gorgeous and that always reminds me of the first time I ever went to New York which was in November when I was in the sixth grade <laughs> so that just always brings back memories to me and that's like the first time I really encountered Central Park was like with all the different colors whenever I watch it I'm like I just get like all these nice like butterflies inside of me for some reason just like I feel so warm and cozy <laughs> I don't know why so that's my first favorite my second one would have to be Gotham main reason being because one of the bays is in it uh, ben McKenzie. If you guys don't know, he was on the OC, and the OC is like my favorite TV show of all time. So, of course, I watch Gotham, and I'm also a huge like superhero person. So, you know, I just like it. It is definitely not for everyone. It's a little gory. I'm not gonna lie. It's very intense, a lot of action. So, if you're not really into that, probably don't watch this one. But if you like those types of things, I'd give it a try. And there are some episodes, like the one that I just started last week, um, which is the first one I just watched it last week, and it was so good like ah, so good so that's my second favorite next is favorite thanksgiving food and um well mine is probably what a lot of other people's are um and it's just the stuffing i'm a huge fan of the stuffing i don't know why i'm just a huge fan a good mixture of just like comfort food and then you put some gravy on top and it's just like <gasps> like you know what i mean so yeah. Next is favorite Halloween costume. So this means like favorite one that I've ever been. And I think the favorite one that I've ever been was when I was in eighth grade. Yeah, the eighth grade. I was Mary Poppins for Halloween and I felt so pleased with my Halloween costume. You know when things just like come together and you just like feel like I'm on top of the world. I love my costume kind of thing. That hasn't really happened to me since. I just was a huge fan of it and what I did is I actually had the umbrella with the parrot on top because the year before that I had been to see Mary Poppins on Broadway so I bought the umbrella after I bought it I was like oh my gosh what if I was Mary Poppins for Halloween and I just kind of kept that in the back of my mind I borrowed a white button-up shirt for my friend Jesse my mom had a skirt that was like perfect I got like a little um kind of like bow tie thing and I put that around I had like, this big cloak which my friend's mom actually got at like an, a theater sale so like a bunch of different theater costumes and a hat from there too but my favorite part about it was that I used an old carpet bag as my like candy bag. So I used her like bag of tricks or whatever it's called, like the Mary Poppins bag that she takes everything out of. I used that as my candy bag and I was so pleased with myself. Like on a whole new level, I was so pleased with myself. So that would definitely be my favorite costume of all time for Halloween. The other question that I had on here is favorite nail polish, which Kelsey actually added. And I don't have one, unfortunately. I just, I don't have one nail polish that I'm absolutely obsessed with in the fall time, so I'm not gonna answer that, but just letting you know, Kelsey, 
if I did have one, I would totally answer that question. Those are all of the questions. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you give it a big thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to check out Kelsey's video. I'll link it down below as well as her channel. And yeah, I just feel so happy that it's the fall time. And also like since I'm actually not going to school right now, I'm taking a gap year. I can kind of really enjoy the fall time. I'm going to list everybody that I tag in the description box down below. So if you are tagged there, please do this video. Also, if you're watching this video right now and you don't make YouTube videos, please leave a comment answering all these questions and I would love to hear from you. I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Hey guys, it's Maggie. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my September favorites.